Ayan, good afternoon po, good afternoon everyone. Welcome po sa ating episode ng uh, Canon Law 101. Good afternoon, Father Jix, how are you? Good afternoon, Father Sean, how are you? Kamusta naman? I'm good. <laughs> Ito. Nagmisa ka parang, na. Ano, parang mas maraming tabako ba? Ayan, kaninang umaga. Ah, kaninang umaga. Nagpabili ako ng cake, that's to celebrate the... Uh, oh. Nice, nice. Maraming tao ba? O yung allowed uh, Ano kami? Siguro mga around 20. 20, uh, 20 lang. Sa Aha. simbahan, 20 lang. Aha. Nice. Okay, very good. Ngayon, we will have a very interesting uh, episode kasi maganda din ang pag-uusapan. No? So, konting, uh, konting reminder sa ating mga viewers as we begin. Reminder number one. Um, uh, oh, nasaan ba siya? Reminder number one. Huwag makalimutan mag-share. Yan. Did you share already this post? Click share and start the watch party. Share in messenger, lalo, lalo sa inyong mga, uh, mga kagrupo. Kung ikaw ay uh, Knight of Columbus, Knight of the Altar, Lay Minister, Postulada ng Panalang, Elector Commentate, share with your, in your group chat. Maganda po yun sa mga kasamahan ninyo. Sabi ni Bishop Robbie, sa mga uh, sa mga kawang coordinators, sa mga chapel coordinators, sa mga secretaries ng mga parokya, sabi ni Bishop Robbie, share ninyo ito. Kasi ito mga topics na kailangan ho, uh, kailangan malaman po yung batas ng simbahan at uh, kung saan galing at kung anong application. So please share. Yan, click share, start a watch party, share in your page, share in group chat, do all the sharing bago tayo magsimula para hindi maiwan yung kasamahan ninyo. Mahirap po na hahabol po sila. Maya-maya, pag mayroon po kayong questions, write your question and comments using capital letters. Huwag makalimutan. And of course, let us know where you are located now. Saan city o saan bansa kung kayo po ay sa ibang lugar. And final announcement, you can go back to our all episodes at YouTube, Almusarita by Father Luciano Feloni, playlist, and doon po yung uh, Canon Law 101 from the beginning hanggang ngayon. So, huwag makalimutan mag-share. And um, we will be talking today about episode 9, no? Episode 9. Ang, uh, ang topic is, ano, Father Jigs, ngayon? Ecclesiastical offices. Ecclesiastical offices. Hmm. Ang ibig sabihin ecclesiastical offices ay uh, offices na mga pare or not necessarily pampare lang ito? Hindi lang, hindi lang. Lahat ng mga gawain, tungkulin, uh -huh. uh, sa simbahan, oo. Mm -hmm. I uh, see. Sa pare o sa mga laiko. Sir Siguro, Oko, basic question, Father, what is an ecclesiastical office? Una-una, uh, ito ay isang stable na function sa simbahan. Mm -hmm. uh, maaring ito ay nagmula sa divine law or ito ay maaring in establish mm -hmm. o pinatag ng competent ecclesiastical authority. Ang ang purpose mm -hmm. ng, ng, ng gawain ito ay spiritual basically either directly mm -hmm. or remotely uh, that benefits the church uh, the church in the world. Uh, kung mm -hmm. atin pong babalikan yung ating pinag-usapan yung branches of government or of power of governance sa simbahan yung mm -hmm. uh, legislative, executive, tsaka judicial, dito nakikita yung mga uh, offices in the church. Mm -hmm. uh, pag, pagdating sa parokya na, oh, at ng diocese, ano ba yung mga karaniwang ecclesiastical offices ng isang parokya? Uh, basically, yung ano ng parish priest. Yung kanyang, uh, priest. Yung kanyang office, ministry, kanyang appointment. Mm -hmm. o ng kanyang assistant parish priest, no? Ayan, these mm -hmm. are stable functions uh, by, yes, mm -hmm. established by, by authority in, in the church, no? Um, yung, yung mga secretaries, are they ecclesiastical ay, ay, office? Hindi sila uh, considered as, as uh, in that sense, no? Ecclesiastical in office. Uh -huh. extent, so hindi sila, o. Oh. Pero yung meron din... Yung mga councils uh, natin, yung yeah, mga pa consider, pastoral financial. Pwede siyang i-consider. Uh, na, uh, yeah, analogously, this is also an example of ecclesiastical offices, no? Yung sa mga 
APC chair, yung mga ministries ng iba't ibang uh, ng iba't ibang ministries, yung finance council yan. Mm-hmm. Iba yung ecclesiastical office sa ministry. Uh, ang ang differ- wala ang difference nito basically yung stability. Mm, yung stability. Si. Kung yan ay stable stable ministry mm-hmm. at meron ka na ng provision for example create yan ng isang kam- ng decree. Ayan mm-hmm. oh. Pero kaya nga sasabi ko meron mga analog an- an- analogous ano anyway, uh, offices sa simbahan I no. See. Oh. I see. Marami yan, marami yan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are the example uh, of why uh, first of all why do we have ecclesiastical offices uh, instituted or constituted by divine law and some others that are not ano ang ibig sabihin nito una una to ano yung stability ng ng mission ng simbahan uh, to establish properly yung mga different works of the ministry uh mm-hmm. to stable siya no hindi siya mm-hmm. pabago-bago Saka this is the, uh, the, I think, uh, the most effective way, ang pinakamabisang paraan para mai magawa ng simbahan ng kanyang misyon. Uh, mm-hmm. Hindi yung tipong isang araw, ganito gagawin mo, para pangalawang araw, iba naman. Hindi. No? So yung kagay ng ano, yung mga parokya. And that's mm-hmm. a very uh, stable ministry, no? yung, yung parish priest. Para mm-hmm. hindi isang araw, ibang parish priest, pangalawa, iba naman. No? So may stability sila. Yun ang pinaka-reason kung bakit meron tayong ganyan. To give stability, parang gano'n. Yes, stability sa work ng simbahan sa mundo sa ano. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, what are the examples of uh, ecclesiastical office that is constituted by divine law? Oh. Yan pong when we say uh, these uh, offices are established by divine law, uh, basically ito yung mga makita nating ano, eh, part ng will ng ating Panginoon sa kanyang uh ministry sa sa, sa sa mundo no by calling the apostles ano yung kanyang mga ginawa sa kanila <laughs> ang example of that uh ng ecclesiastical office uh, that is institu- instituted by divine law is for example yung mga dioceses no for mm-hmm. that matter the diocese of rome as the mother church and the mother of all dioceses in the world kasi nga si peter si pedro siya yung pang, 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 pangulo ng mga apostol so yung kanyang mm-hmm. si yung kanyang uh, diocese pangunahin ding diocese sa buong mundo. So that's really that's part of a uh, divine uh, divine disposition by the Lord, no? Yung mm-hmm. office ng bishop, yung mga obispo sa simbahan, hindi yan sila ano, mm-hmm. hindi yan sila nilikha lang ng, na, natin, no? This this is really, as mm-hmm. we said. The bishops are the successors of the apostles. Kasi mm-hmm. yan ang ginawa ng Panginoon, pumili ng labing dalawa mga apostol na close mm-hmm. collaborators niya. At yung ating mga mm-hmm. bispo ngayon, sila yung mga tagapagmana ng mm-hmm. office ng, ng, mm-hmm. ng apostles created mm-hmm. by the Lord. No? Yung Petrin Ministry, mm-hmm. yan, the example of uh, an office that is divinely constituted. Hindi yan, ano, hindi yan, all of a sudden, na, na i-conceive of Canadian, dapat meron po. Mm-hmm. Pagbutuhan ng mga tao. No? Hindi ka na, no? So it's, it's really established by, by Jesus in giving the keys to, to Peter. Uh, yeah, na example ng ano ng uh, offices uh, that are established by divine law. And dahil doon ay uh, hindi ang mutable ba ito? Hindi hindi pwedeng mawala, hindi pwedeng yes. mabago. Yes, hindi mawala ito. This is part mm-hmm. of the, uh, the, the the disposition of the Lord. Hindi ito pwedeng magbabago. Hindi one mm-hmm. one one time mawawala na ang papa, papa si ibahin natin mm-hmm. ang form ng ating governance sa simbahan. Oh. Yung obispo, wala ng obispo, alam na lang tayo, parang grupo na lang ng mga pare. So, it, it, it won't change. It's so, hindi, be... hindi pwede. Oh, oh. Hindi pwede. Kasi, Kasi oh. halimbawa dito sa bansa, pinag-uusapan no, na uh, magpapalit ng constitution and then uh, it change, for example, into federalism. So, oh. a change of, a total change of uh, style of governance. Oh. Sa, sa simbahan, hindi maaari mag-change ng, oh. uh, ng divine uh, institution. Tama ba? Yes. yes. Hindi maaari natin baguhin yung uh, aning form, yung hierarchy ng simbahan because this is divinely, divinely instituted. This is, mm. this is uh, we can see this from the dispositions, the, the, the decision, the choices of the Lord when He establishes His kingdom. His kingdom on earth in His public ministry. 
by calling the disciples. In the semi Padrosiano, yung naalala ko lang yung issue ng ano, no? Yung ordination of women, kung bakit men lang. Ang sabi yes. ni Pope St. John Paul II, sabi niya, we have no authority to change this. Kasi mm -hmm. this is part of divine institution. So, ganun. Uh -huh. So, ganun, ganun itong ano. So, ganun. All, all that is of divine institution, ay hindi po pwedeng baguhin at hindi nagbago mula nung sinaunang panahon at hindi magbabago hanggang katapusan ng panahon. Yes, we all we discover however how to enrich it how mm. to better exercise it in the world but the way it is mm. structure hindi magbabago mm. yan. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, is that the reason why if it's not of divine institution can be changed? Yes, oh. May mga bagay na ano na mutable. Ito yung mga bagay na probably product of uh, decisions or in historical developments na pwedeng kang bumalik. For example, I, I, I was thinking you know, of a couple of things. For example, one is uh, the priest at the, at the beginning for almost a thousand years they used to get married. So you mm. had married priests and eventually celibacy was introduced. Uh -oh. Yes. So, nag, nagbago yung but it was not of divine uh, institution. Yes. Uh, other things can be yung change the liturgical changes in after Vatican II. Yes. Or not not only after Vatican II actually there was a change. No, nagbago bago pa uh, ano. Nagbago bago through through the centuries, no? Oh. Yung liturgical changes. So, but yes. kapag it's not of the divine institution can be changed. Uh -oh. Pero yung, yung divine, divinely instituted cannot be changed. Yeah. So in, the, in, in, in theory, by instance, yung Sinaiti Padre Rosiano, yung celibacy of priests, yan ay, ano, yan ay discipline, it's, it's, it's a law. Mm -hmm. But hindi, hindi yan part ng, 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 uh, ng divine revelation. Hindi yan siya part. Mm -hmm. It's part of the spirit in, in the church, no? Mm -hmm. So hindi siya ito. Um, uh -huh. May mga ganun po. Uh -huh. Oo. Uh -huh. So there are Padre Rosiano, may mga, may, mga, may mga offices that can be instituted by competent authority, pwede mawala, pwede madagdag. For so, example, for example, you say, so, uh, we create the Ministry of Social, Social Communication, di ba? Kasi naging need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dati, dati wala eh. Mm -hmm. We create the Ministry for uh, yung mga reaching out sa mga mayroong emotional difficulties coping with the pandemic. Dati, yes. hindi yan mapansin, di ba? Oh, we created mm -hmm. the ministry and appointed a a uh, a priest coordinator. For instance, uh, ish, sa sa pinang uh, advocacy, uh, kasi kaya naging ano yan, naging ano, naging naginig siya. Pero in before, walang mga ganyan. So nagbabago pa ako yung ano, mm -hmm. yung mga ano offices. Depende talaga. Uh, but mm -hmm. especially these are established because there's the possibility to exercise the function, yung ating mission sa sa mundo. So let me just continue pa talaga siya no yung kasi kanina ang tanong mo di ba mayroong mga established by divine institution or divine will. Yes. Pero yes. namang mga offices that are established by authority. Mm -hmm. Parang kanila ang authority. For example, yung the different organs of administration of the Roman Curia, may mga iba't ibang mm -hmm. congregations. Ang pop binabago-bago na yan, depende sa need ng time eh. Mm -hmm. So mapapagod natin may mga yung pastor bonus, yung constitution ni John Paul II regarding yung kanyang Roman Curia, may mga changes mm -hmm. na. Si Pope Francis mm -hmm. may mga natag na ngayon sa kasalukuyan. So mm -hmm. these are uh, offices that are created by competent authority. Mm -hmm. Yung uh, yung care for souls of parish priest, no? Uh, hindi mm -hmm. talaga siya, hindi mm -hmm. siya part ng, uh, ng divine will. Kasi talaga ang ano was entrusted to the apostles. In fact, ang mga pari, we are, ano eh, we are collaborators of the bishop. So, even that is part of um, divine, uh, of the establishment by competent authority. Marami yan. Example, mga, mga leadership in institutions. Ano ba? So, ibig, ibig sabihin na yung, for example, yung, yung division by parishes, which is so important for us, Mm -hmm. could, could change in the future. We don't know. Yes. Pero yung diocese will not. Will not, oh. The, the bishops pero, oh. will not. The idea we of that. We have a bishop. Yes, oh. Uh -oh. 
So the idea of parish, of uh, as a territorial, etc., mm -hmm. that can change. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, malleable yan, magbago-bago yan. Of course, mm -hmm. uh, because of its practicality, parang parang mahirap in in, in the, at present to conceive of any other way. Uh, the sim the, the church is uh, organized, de ba? Except Pero, through. De mm -hmm. ba meron meron sa sa canon law also some parishes that are not uh, territorial, like personal oh, parishes, what they dalawang call klase, oh, Dalawang klase kasi ng parokya, merong territorial, yung, at yung kakaya ng meron tayo ngayon, uh, mm -hmm. may, may boundaries, may division, tapos merong mga people mm -hmm. that are in the parish. Meron din namang personal uh, parishes. Mm -hmm. Ang member doon ay by means of um, uh, ethnicity or rights or mm -hmm. language. Oh. Uh, in, in short, uh, personally, persons <coughs> attached mm. to a particular uh, group of faithful or parish. There are things, you know, I see this. Father Jiggs, for example, no, um, I, one, one reality that we are realizing now is, uh, for example, because of the pandemic, this online put, uh, put our boundaries of parishes very, you know, very fluid. Yes. So, nag uh, like, like, online, hindi mo alam kung kung sino ang minimisahan mo no mm -hmm. and uh, just for example i want to ask a, a, a very concrete question kasi kanina umaga, i have a mass uh, for unilab foundation for senior citizens so this these are groups all over metro manila that will be attending a mass which i will be celebrating via zoom and they will be watching also via zoom from their places so mm -hmm. uh, the organizers told me today, uh, in the Archdiocese of Manila, there was a circular letter or something like that. Now, um, when you celebrate online, the priest and, and the readers should be in the same place. Uh -huh. and, and I told them, well, we don't have, we don't have in Nobaliches a uh, prescription like that. And uh, since I will be celebrating from Nobaliches, we apply Novaliches rulings for for the liturgy because the presider is in Novaliches. Tama ba? That's a sound reasoning, actually. So, so logic jan. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Kasi ito namang uh, liturgical norm na ito applies to Manila. Mm -hmm. uh, so and 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 then um, the norm can be uh, different in, in in other places. Mm -hmm. So hindi siya imitable truth eh. Kaya medyo kailangan natin yung ating mga nanonood sa atin. Kasi once they see something being uh, regulated in one place, akan nila sa lahat dapat sumunod. So, yes, na correct. So, <clears throat> so, so the, the, the law of the church is quite flexible in that, right? Na uh, uh, every diocese has a certain margin of authority to... Yeah, that, that's that's way, that's a good way of saying it. So, meron tayong uh, autonomy of leadership. Kasi nga, ang isang diocese is called mm -hmm. canon law and even in theology, particular church. Mm -hmm. So, hindi sila, these are kumbagas, um, what they call this, different dioceses or different particular churches having its own mm -hmm. life and mm -hmm. revolves around the head bishop. Mm -hmm. But but this online thing is also changing the way we we do pastoral. No? Oh, 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 maganda maganda so, nga ito. Maraming possible, ano, possible ba na eventually there are new ecclesiastical offices created for virtual for this kind of virtual ministries. Possible din yon. Uh, ang simbahan reacts to the need of a time, eh? so the sense of a time, mm -hmm. so the pastoral needs at present. And our 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 ministries and the offices we create are in response to these needs. Kaya, um, so that's how we see that we are always growing. Mm -hmm. uh, how we understand better our ministry for people. So the mm -hmm. idea that the church is always reforming, changing mm -hmm. yung uh, kanya, uh, yung expressions and um, mm -hmm. manifestations or or ways of doing things. So, mm -hmm. but yung core ng ating teaching ni nagbabago. Mm -hmm. So you can yeah, like express the mm -hmm. ministries and leadership can have different or variety of forms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is a canonical provision, Father? Uh, 
sa sabi sa, sa kanun lo, hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng ecclesiastical office without canonical provision. What is that? It is the authority that grants the person the title to the office. For example, I cannot, uh, itong, itong parokya na nahawakan ko, I, I obtain this by means of a canonical provision, yung decree mm. of appointment. No? Mm. So, yeah, basically that, that, that is the one. It also refers to the decree that created the office in the first place. For instance, mm. a parokya na was created mm. 10 years ago by a decree of Bishop Tobias. Mm. I cannot just uh, go here and say I am I'm making this as a parish without that without that decree of bishop. I so see, you know, I uh, see. Uh, these are needed. Uh, these uh -huh. provisions, canonical provisions are needed for a person to have legitimacy of office. And uh, is it written na kailangan in written? It is usually it is it has to be put in writing. Kasi mm -hmm. nga, for instance, the law one who receives, uh, for instance, a uh, an office needs to prove it in the external forum. Kailangan mo ng, ano, kailangan mo ng proof na ito yung, ano mo, ito yung appointment mo. In fact, mm -hmm. pero remember, Padre Luciano, kapag nag-assume ng office ng parish priest, pinapakita yung decree of appointment, gina, 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 yes, ganun, correct. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's the canonical provision being shown to people na he mm -hmm. assumes the office legitimately. So for instance, sa mga ating mga ministries, when the bishop says verbally of, um, ikaw mag-head ng ministry na ito, mahalaga to kasi ngayon sa pandemic. Okay, bishop. Then after that, the bishop will send you the decree of appointment. In that decree, uh -huh. states ko ano yung rights mo, obligations mo, mm -hmm. uh, ano yung tenure of office mo. Uh, nakalagay mm -hmm. nito on uh, kung kailan mag-start ang iyong, uh, ang iyong uh, exercise of office. Mm -hmm. So, ang inakahalaga ng, uh, ng written uh, decree. Can you say something kasi in, dito sa Novaliches, um, tinutulag mo, Father Jix, particularly ikaw, no, na bigyan natin ng appointment letter yung mga PPC, PFC, yung members uh, ng pastoral council at ng finance yes. council, gumawa ka ng, ng, uh, ng, uh, uh, ng example uh -oh. letter, etc. Can you tell us why it is important? At uh, kasi baka maraming nanonood sa iba't ibang lugar and maybe they are serving in ministries without a appointment uh, or appointment letter. Uh, uh, bakit uh, mahalaga ito? Tama. Uh, basically, I was pushing for it. Kasi sa tingin ko, we can analogously consider yung mga positions of um, the lay in our parishes, a pastoral past council, finance council, as analogously ecclesiastical offices or a participation, mm -hmm. a cooperation in mm -hmm. that uh, in, in that uh, in, in, in that exercise of office in the church. Okay, mm -hmm. kaya, kaya sabi ko dapat ganun. Second, the purpose of it is really legal, mm -hmm. uh, kasi yung stability ng ng tao sa office sa, sa position. Mm -hmm. Na, for instance, according to our guidelines, the diocesan guidelines natin, uh, tatlong taon ang 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 uh, term ng isang member ng pastoral council, mm -hmm. but he can be appointed. So, may basis tayo. In mm -hmm. fact, para sa mga pare, hindi arbitrary ang pag-assign mm -hmm. sa sa sa, mm -hmm. sa sa ministry. Pangalawa, uh, I think this also dignifies the the work that of the lay. Mm -hmm. Parang binibigyan ng dignity ang kanilang trabaho sa simbahan. Hindi, hindi, hindi lang ito, appoint appointment lang. Oh. And also for the lay, to, to look at what they're doing as something important for the church. To the point now, we create the, we, we have an appointment given to them. That must But, be taken. Uh, quest, question, no? Kasi you said the, the, uh, the appointing authority or the, the, uh, the ecclesiastical um authority to to appoint is the bishop right uh -huh. or the ordinary so how about pastoral councils or finance council will they be appointed by their parish priests or the, the appointment letter has to be signed also by the bishop the, uh -huh. the appointing person is the bishop yeah that's a good question ano? um the the parish priest has that uh power no um to appoint yung kanyang uh, yung kanyang uh, members of of the of the councils that that mm -hmm. support him or that uh, to whom he consults for advice 
on past mm-hmm. financial, financial matters. No? This is given mm-hmm. by a uh, particular law. Sa ating guidelines and yan. No? Mm-hmm. However, since the real uh, authority comes from the bishop, dapat ano, uh, dapat meron ting signature and bishop. Kaya dun sa mm-hmm. ating trap, nakalagay itong ano ng parish priest as the appointing authority and to be noted by the bishop. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Okay, that's good. So, um, kasi sanay po tayo sa mga PPC and PFC na verbal lang. Tapos, usually minsan, ang gagawin nila is manunumpa at uh, mayroong installation. Parang ano, no? May, mayroong uh, blessing uh, in front of the people. Uh, necessary din ba yun? Tulad ng Paris Priest na it has to be installed. Uh, is it a requirement, the installation, or... Uh, the appointment letter is enough. Sa office ng parish priest, office ng bishop, uh, those that assume care, care for souls, ha? may say care for souls, mm-hmm. yung mga, 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 mga tao under you na, you minister mm-hmm. sa, sa them. Kailangan talaga mm-hmm. ng, ano, ng what we call canonical ano, assumption of office. Because mm-hmm. that completes the the whole act of appointment. The letter, mm-hmm. uh, the, the physical uh, transfer of the praise and then the canonical, you know, the canonical um, assumption of office or installation. Um, in place of that, however, pwede namang walang assemble, walang, ano, walang, walang installation. Mm-hmm. Ang kailangan lang i, ano yun, i-note. I-note yun. Uh, meron lang isang, uh, what you call this, isang document that states that uh, yung installation was, uh, was in view of installation, the priest merely Profes- kailangan yung professional faith pa din. Pwede niya mm-hmm. i-sign niya at i-sabit to the bishop. Mm-hmm. I see. So, kailangan niya kasi that's the uh, the legitima- legitimacy of the assumption of office. Mm-hmm. So, uh, who can create an ecclesiastical office? Divine uh, law, we, we said? Yes. Uh, and and then, then the... Competent, oh, the competent authority is always the bishop. Uh, a pinaka simple sagot sa diocese is safely always the bishop. Pero the bishop. since the vicar also has uh, general executive powers, they can according to the limits mm, of law. Kasi hindi sila like mm-hmm. yung vicar general, hindi sila pwede mag appoint ng, 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 ng parish priest. Sila yes. pwede mag create ng, <clears throat> uh, ng mga parokya. But they can mm-hmm. somehow uh, within, for instance, within their uh, what you call this, yung kanilang area, Mm-hmm. Uh, certain stable ministries. Oh, I see. But I see. practice, we still give the bishop the ano eh, the uh, authority to to uh, to sign the letter to record or write the appointment. Para po sa akin, I think for the benefit of everybody in the diocese, mm-hmm. uh, every time we appoint persons to a ministry that is stable, mm-hmm. uh, called ecclesiastical offices, I think we should write an appointment letter. Mm-hmm. Halaga talaga na meron talaga tayong appointment letter. Uh, yung mga, what about yung mga uh, naglilingkod? Uh, we, we have this uh, tradition, I, I don't know if it's a law or a tradition in Metro Manila uh, to give to our lay ministers and lectors and commentators, uh, they, they renew and they get a certificate and an ID as a uh, um appointment sort of appointment delegation or is it is it uh considered part of this uh ecclesiastical office the ministries of lector the ministry of uh, extraordinary minister of holy communion um iba ang iba ang nature niya no so in kasi when we have uh, lectors and commentators what we have, uh, we, we give them basic formation, mm-hmm. and then certificate of um, of attendance or completion, mm-hmm. and then installation. However, yung installation doon kasi doesn't have the same legal, ano, legal uh, effect or connotation as the installations of other uh-huh. of other ministries. So, I see. it's more of the liturgical right to start mm-hmm. ministry in the church. Parang ganun. So, magkaiba, magkaiba siya. Kailangan ba yun? Um, hindi siya, ano eh, hindi siya, what do you call this? Hindi siya sin, sin, sinikwanon sa pagsiserve. 
Because even mm. Canada would allow, uh, for instance, the, the priest to, to delegate uh, the ministry temporarily. For that particular and, occasion. Uh-huh. Yes, o, o kung talagang walang, mm. walang maka-assign, pwede ganun. So to be to serve hindi naman siya sinikwan. However, it is very important na meron tayong class information kasi there has to be training eh para manawaan yung sabihin ng ministry na iyon. May question dito, it's more liturgical in nature but I think we we can also get the spirit of uh, should should a person from one diocese follow the uh yung mga alituntunin ng ibang diocese. The question is this, in the diocese of Novaliches, we kneel until the amen is said. In the diocese of Cubao, they make you stand after the consecration. If attending a mass in a church in the diocese of Cubao, do we need to follow? So if I'm not from Cubao, but I attend a mass in Cubao, do I need to follow the uh, protocols or sabihin natin yung mga uh, dispositions of the diocese of Cubao? Whatever diocese, I mean. Ako, ang simple sa question is because of charity, you have to follow Kubaw. We learn in Kubaw. Mm-hmm. So, we do not say, uh, I, am, I, am, I am from, kasi ito, this, this liturgical norm covers the liturgical uh, celebrations within Kubaw. Mm-hmm. It is not personal. Mm-hmm. So, in the end, because I'm not from Kubaw, I don't follow it. No, it's, it's a liturgical mm-hmm. norm for mm-hmm. celebrations in the diocese of Cubao and therefore going to mm-hmm. Cubao to follow this norm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Another question from Gloria. Uh, pasensya na po, hindi ko naumpisahan. Sa paano po pinipili o ina-assign ang parish priest ng kada simbahan? Meron po bang record ng lahat ng pari kada diocese? Minsan po may nagiging parish priest coming from other city or provinces. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you sa so, 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 no. Uh, ang, ang assignment ng parish priest can be first, basically free conferral, appointment ng obispo, siya po may pili. The second is, it can be a, a uh, free conferral after presentation. Ito yung mga cases na mga, mga religious priests na ina-assign na parish priest sa mga dioceses, nag-represent yung ano nag-present yung kanilang mga superior ng pangalan or na isang pangalan, ipipigay sa obispo, the bishop will confirm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and confirm the appointment. So, yun ang ano. Uh, yun. So, ano nabili basically ang, ang, ang obispo mm-hmm. uh, sa, sa pamamagitan ng conferral, sa pamamagitan ng, ng ano. Pagkatapos, uh, meron pang record ang lahat ng pari ng kada diocese. We have up to own files also sa ating diocese. Yung mm. tayo po kami mga diocese and we, we have that in, in, in the in the chancery. No? Yung mm. minsan po nagiging parish priest yung galing sa ibang lugar, probably sila ay na, na incarnate na sa diocese na yon, Unless they are religious. Mm. Uh, where yung kanilang appointment ay medyo free, they can transfer to, they can be assigned in uh, a place where they have uh, a Parish. So basically po, mm-hmm. I think po dito baka na ano to na yung pare na ano na na incarnate mm-hmm. sa dance. Another question ni Esther, is there standards, oh where is it? Is, is there standards, qualifications when one serves in the parish? Um, yes, sa mga liturgical ministry, sa pastoral, uh, sa pastoral council, meron tayo sa guidelines natin. We even have uh, we have qualifications. We have tenure. We have tr- mm-hmm. formation and training. Meron tayong sanctions for violations of uh, the 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 code of conduct, etc., etc. So meron mm-hmm. tayong uh, mga qualifications and standards. Eto yung sinasabi mo ecclesiastical offices. Meron bang standard na requirements also? Saan? Pa, sa, sa ano? E- ah, meron, ecclesiastical meron. offices. Yes. Oh. Uh-huh. Meron yan. Uh, makikita natin yan. Uh, may qualifications sa kailangan. Mm-hmm. Uh, may age. na May age requirement. Meron din uh-huh. requirement of your competence. Halimbawa, uh, meron kang ganito klaseng skill. Meron kang ganito klaseng mm-hmm. training. Oh, may mga ganun yan. Uh, maliban doon sa ganun, meron din mga, mga, mga moral standards, yung ethical standards. No? Yung Prudence, integrity, mm-hmm. piety, holiness. Memang kan, tapi tapi pendis tak ingin sure noong 
ng office yung requirement or standards. I see. Mamaya balikan natin no yung mga requirements. Tingnan natin no. Itong tanong ni Liberty Villahermosa, bakit kailangan mag-rotate ang mga pare? Oo. Uh, um basically sa canon law, ang 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 general norm is uh, stability of the of the office of parish priest, which means to say kapag stable siya, hindi siya basta-basta ng uh, lumilipat, no? Uh, but there was a provision in canon law also of clause that says uh, that there can be a periodic transfer of assignments of parish priest uh, mm -hmm. if, if this is, uh, what you call this, favorable to the Episcopal or Bishop's Conference. Now, sa Pilipinas, mm -hmm. meron, meron sila, meron, meron ano yan, favorable yan sa kanila, na yung mm -hmm. shift of assignment, yung reshuffle. So mm -hmm. sa ating diocese, meron tayong uh, every six years. Kung yes. bakit kailangan mag-rotate, alam niyo po, para sa amin mga pari din at para din sa inyo. Yes, Maraming benefit ng mag-rotate. Yes, yes. Uh, kasi uh, yes, uh, na nakakatulong po sa lahat, no? Nakakatulong sa lahat. Sa amin naman ay panibagong challenge, panibagong hamon, panibagong realidad. So mm -hmm. you grow also into new challenges kasi baka uh, ma maging stagnant, no? In a period of five, six years, you give all you have and uh, baka maging masyadong uh, masyadong komportable Amalia. ang lahat, yung pare at saka yung tao sa kanya. So, maybe um, you, you just create a, a circle of people uh, around the priest and that's it. And, and you, you, can, you can become talagang nakakulong doon, no? So, a uh, new priest will bring new ideas, new projects, new uh, focus, and it helps both the parties to grow and the priest to grow. But also another, you know, alam mo, nanonood ako, uh, Father Jix, ng isang uh, series on Netflix, uh, Green Leaf. Ito ay isang uh, uh, born again mega church in the US. At uh, watching that, I realized what a blessing in the Catholic Church transfer kasi a mega church for example in the US can become a family business uh, if you stay too long that becomes my church it's no more the church of Jesus the church of the community it's my church no and yun danger na uh, yung ministro pinapasa sa kanyang anak uh, sa kanyang apo yung parang naging uh, family run business yung simbahan uh, sa ating malaking biyaya yun na uh, after five, six years, you go and that's it. Uh, it belongs to Christ. It's not yours. Yeah. So whatever you put, your life, your heart, your tears, your your everything, but aalis ka eh. So maiwan ang relasyon, maiwan ang mga kaibigan, but it's not your church. It's the church of Jesus. You hands off and the kingdom continues, no? I, I think it's a it's a wisdom. I can I can feel now the wisdom of the Catholic Church sa sa decision na yan. Sa so, kabisay sa Luciano, because of these benefits na sinasabi mo, ang mga dioceses at present ganon na ang ginagawa. May trend talaga na mag ano mag limit ang term so that the, the priest can be transferred to, an, to another parish. Actually, recently na pansing ko na pati ang mga obispo. Uh, uh, kwan din sila, umiikot din sila. Dati kasi usually ang isang obispo from his ordination to his retirement sa isang diocese. <laughs> oh, pe pero ngayon there is more common, no? there is more uh, moving around, there is more lipat din ng obispo. Hmm. I, and I think parehas yung, yung dahilan, no? nakakatulong sa lahat. Yeah, Thank very you. good. Okay, wonderful. Uh, okay, who may obtain ecclesiastical offices? What are the oh. qualifications? Oh, yeah. And ito yung mga qualifications. Sino yung mga pwedeng ma-appoint sa ano? Uh, because we talk of uh, ecclesiastical offices, which means to say sa simbahan, the first requirement is yung baptism. The person must be in full communion or baptized as a Catholic. Mm -hmm. or accepted as a Catholic. So, full communion. Pwedeng nabinyagan ka na Katoliko o pwedeng, uh, pwedeng kang inaccept sa Katoliko dati kang binyagan tapos tinanggap ka, pwedeng kang appoint. Uh, mm -hmm. It must be suitable, endowed with the qualities required by the office. 
either by universal law or particular law. Because I said that the qualifications de depend really on the kind of offices to which the person is being appointed. Let's okay. take for example the bishop at uh, the bispo, no? Ito yung mga qualifications. No? Kailangan siya standing in faith, good morals, piety, silver souls, uh, wisdom, prudence, human virtues, and other suitable uh, qualifications. He must be at least 35 years of age. Or they ilan, must... Ilan taon? 35. 35. Okay. Uh, dapat five years na pare, at least. Tapos mm. meron siyang uh, training or doctorate or relationships sa scriptures, theology, canon law, or at least experts sa mga bagay na ito. So what I'm saying is, ito yung mga kailangan uh, para ano, para ma-qualify ang isang tao sa isang office, no? So, mm -hmm. yan. Example also is yung parish priest, no? Uh, ito, ang parish priest is given the exercise of care for souls, which means say mga sacraments. So, mm -hmm. The basic requirement for a parish priest, for example, is yung um, holy orders, yung uh, pare, dapat pare uh, siya. ordination to the presbytery. So, mm -hmm. hindi pa din ng parish priest na hindi na hindi pare, In, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. o ikon o kaya lay hindi pa pwede. Kasi meron siyang care for souls. Eh. So, ito yung sabi ko na ano, na requirements uh, to be appointed to an ecclesiastical office depende sa so anong office ang ano ang uh, ibibigay yeah. depende sa mm -hmm. ang requirement mm -hmm. uh, yung parish priest uh, tulad ng obispo mayroon bang ganon na uh, at least 35 years of age or at least 5 years into priesthood yung parish priest may ganon uh, qualifications of the age and uh, years in the ministry the first qualification, uh, as I said, is yung uh, or ordination to the priesthood. But in terms of age, wala. Wala ring uh, dapat, dapat uh, at least five years of ministry. In fact, ako ka dalawang siya, no? dalawang, wala pa dalawang taong ginaman ako, parish priest. Napaka to, dahil ko pa. But there are certain requirements in terms of yung prudence, yung uh, silver souls, Na, na, yun, yun ang mga requirements. So, meron moral qualification, but in terms of training, wala, 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 wala masyadong need, wala masyadong requirement sa bagay na yun. Ang tanong, ang typical na question din ng mga pare is, uh, kailangan mag-aral ka para maging obispo? Mayroon bang uh, uh, kurso? Mayroon bang uh, particular na pag-aaral na kailangan uh, araling ng isang pare para maging obispo? Una-una po, uh, siguro maganda din ating isabihin sa ating mga ano, na ang pagiging obispo po ay hindi isang promotion sa simbahan. Hindi siya, for example, if I become monsignor, next step is obispo na. If, uh, I, am, uh, if I handle this, uh, itong mga offices na ito, become general, no? next obispo na. Hindi, hindi po ganun ha. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, any priest can be appointed, elected by the Pope, the mm -hmm. of Mm -hmm. Wala pong ano wala pong isang institute or course na maging obispo no. Mm -hmm. Pero mga trainings that are useful for for th that for that uh, ministry no. Mm -hmm. Kaya noong uh, nasabi ko kanina no. But it doesn't mean that once once you are a doctor of theology or scriptures or canon law ay mm -hmm. anak obispo niya pari na yan. Hindi po ganoon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really mm -hmm. free conferral by the by the pope and uh, mm -hmm. yung office ng, 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 ng obispo. Mm -hmm. uh, Father, may tatlong questions. Number one, from Cecilia Santos, would you say may politika din sa kaparian? Uh -huh. When we say politics po, medyo broad yung term na yan, no? yung partisanship that's, 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 that's politics. No? Politics is really, is really a, good, is a good term, no? which means to say, that's serv the service to the people, yun, yun, ang, yun ang politika eh the office that serves the people. Kaya ang, ang nagiging masama lang yan kasi yung, yung partisanship that pulls people down at ang focus hindi yung service, hindi yung, yung position. Na simbahan po, merong, I don't know kung anong, in, in, in a good sense, politics, yes, because the bishop exerts his authority over yung kanyang subjects. Now that, that's, that's, that's politics. In a way, that's exercising fu function for the people. 
people, no? to the people of God. Yes. And the bishop yes. should do that. No? Pero yung politika na naghihilahan o nag-aawayan, uh, to, to be honest, ang simbahan po, tao talaga. Hindi naman tayo immune mm-hmm. from from uh, all these uh, intrigues and controversies. Mm-hmm. Tapos narating uh, human factor kasi for appointment of uh, priest to positions. For instance, mm-hmm. Uh, I, I noticed na may, mayroong uh, mga pari na na mahusay, banal, holy, pero hindi siya kilala. Mm-hmm. May, mga, may mga pa naman na medyo kilalang kilala, matunog ang pangalan mm-hmm. mo ako. Yun ang mga mm-hmm. na-appoint. So, because we have li- limitation in terms of who you know, how well you know the person, so para, parang mm-hmm. ganun. But uh, mm-hmm. I think, sa simbahan naman po, let me, let me assure you that our basic orientation is that our position or offices is really meant for service, as I said at the mm-hmm. beginning of the program. So, mm-hmm. uh, if there's a desire to be in that position, that desire should be not in the position but to serve using the position. Mm-hmm. Pero kung meron o hindi yung in negative sense, I am not saying na wala, uh, wala sa simbahan. I'm not saying that. No, it's, it's really part of our human nature mm-hmm. to have these things also. Another question, uh, Father, exacto ito sa iyo kasi exorcist uh, si Father Jiggs also, no? Ang question is, bakit po hindi pwede mag-exorcise ang parish priest? Bakit tumatawag pa po ng exorcist? May mga, kasi po ang, ang Ministry of Exorcism is also an ecclesiastical office that needs an appointment. Mm-hmm. You need the faculty that gives you the, 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 the appointment that grants you the faculty to exorcise. Mm-hmm. Ang parish po, ang parish is actually also can exercise, but we have to distinguish between minor exorcism to a major exorcism. Mm-hmm. All priests, all priests, including parish priests, mm-hmm. including assistant priests, all priests can do the minor exorcism. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but only the exorcist can do the major exorcism. Mm-hmm. In fact, we exercise all, every time we uh, we we administer the sacrament of baptism. Because we don't exorcism prayers sa baptism. It is a minor mm-hmm. exorcism. Mm-hmm. So, um, ang tantanong niya, pwede ba exercise ang pare pero minor? Well, minor. Okay. Okay. Yung exorcism yung appointed lang, kasi because of the faculty. Uh, Another question uh, from Esther. Nuns are religious, and isn't it that they have a function to pray? What exactly is their role in the parish diocese? It seems that they are all around meetings. Shouldn't they be praying more? Uh, iba't iba ang, ano, iba't iba ang charism, ang uh, mm-hmm. purpose ng mga institutes of consecrated life, mapababa, iba palalaki, mga madre, mga pare. Uh, iba't iba, kasi for instance, yung, ako, I'm a member of the fraternity of St. Dominic, I am Dominican by not by by uh, enrollment or uh, incarnation, but by means of membership or fraternity. Ang other than Dominicans is to <coughs> to contemplate and to preach what you contemplate. Okay, so yun ang particular charism ng Dominicans. Ang mga madre pa iba may mga may mga contemplative mm-hmm. and meron namang active mm-hmm. at meron ding Contemplative kum active. So parang with a ratio between those who en- who are enclosed for prayer and those who are engaged in the world for Christ mm-hmm. in action. So yun, kaya mapapansin may, may mga madre active sa iba't ibang larangan ng nagawain ng diocese. No? So of course they pray. Basic, basic sa vocation in the, sa ministry ng isang religyoso at ng pari yung pagdasal. But some of them are, are committed to different kinds of undertakings for the church, and some of yes. them can be active. Yes, yes. We we all should be praying more, including the mga laiko, no. Uh, but uh, yung yung active participation in the ministry of the church, some some uh, sisters are called by their vocation to be actively involved, and therefore uh, their presence is not uh, an escape from their ministry, but it's their ministry. Okay. Yes. Uh, 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 from Bong Carlo Latuga, how to be DD? Uh, una, what does it mean? Uh, Jerome Rosalinda DD. Uh, what, what does it mean if, if a person, no, Roberto uh, Gaa DD? What is DD and how to get a DD? 
Uh, ang Didi po means Doctor of Divinity. Mm -hmm. It's a title attached to the bishop by virtue of his office. Mm -hmm. It is a decree that is earned by going to a school and uh, then mm -hmm. taking up courses or defending a thesis. However, meron pong mga ano, meron pong mga op, may mga universities and universities that offer uh, divinity studies. Mm -hmm. But even if you go there, you will not be able to get a doctor of divinity unless mm -hmm. you become a bishop. Ang antaho mm -hmm. nila master of divinity. I think sa LSD, I'm not sure, pa parang gano'n yata, patuloy siya na ang, ang, ang mm -hmm. So you earn oh, that, uh, it's given mm -hmm. uh, as a title mm -hmm. uh, to bishops, it is not a decree that was earned. Mm -hmm. It is right. connected to the office. Fa follow a question ni Gloria, no? hindi naman po ba dadaan sa palakasan o na-influensyahan ng politiko ang pagpili ng parish priest or ng bishop? Uh -huh. Una una po yung mga politicians wala kang nalaman sa appointment ni na, nami mga pare yung mga mayor yung mga ganun ba yung politiko o, o politika. So meron ding ano meron ding of course the bishop has is has his uh, uh, what call this yung personal board ang tawag natin you a group of a group of um, persons who whom the bishop consults regarding appointments. Pero po yung pag-appoint talaga is really his prerogative. Siya na talaga may karapatan at may kakayahan ng gumawa. Hindi pa pwedeng idikta sa kanya, no? Yung kung sino i-appoint niya. He listens to the, 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 the advice of the personal board pero at the end of the day, uh, this is choice. Siya ang pipili. Mm -hmm. He will not be forced or cajoled into doing something na hindi naman niya gusto. So, abis mo pa rin talaga mag-ano. So, but there are people who can who can advise him or help advise him, him make decisions on. Uh, six years lang po ba talaga ang mga parish priests, tanong ni Denver, o may mga terms ba ang mga diocesan priests sa mga parokya nila? Is it uh, by, by law, by canon law, uh, the term of the parish priest, or is it a diocesan uh, decision? Uh, as I said, itong term of office, is a, a decision made by uh, the bishops when it is fav favorable to the conference of bishops or in, that, in our case, CBCP. Ang, ang, ang general norm talaga ng canon law is the stability of office ng parish priest. So walang mga term. Ang term, however, the diocese can impose terms or term limits on that office. And in our diocese, we have made the decision <coughs> collectively. So, hindi man ibig sabihin lang, it, this is only for the diocese, I don't know, mm -hmm. with, with others, pero may ibang diocese, for instance, ang kapitbahay natin, na ang kanilang term ay three years, then can be reappointed for three years. Mm -hmm. Pero if you want a short, a short, a short um, state, state or tenure, pwede three years lang, you can ask to be transferred. Sa atin, walang mm -hmm. ganun. We, we just mm -hmm. said six years. Mm-hmm. Can the bishop change uh, in any moment of the six years? Can say, okay, yes. now, uh, Father Luciano, yes. you will go to another party. Father Jiggs, you will go. Can, he he has all the prerogative to do so. Yes, no problem. Okay. Uh, uh. Another question, uh, Father, ano naman po ang STHD sa iba pong mga obispo? Uh, ito naman, ito, ito yung degree talaga na they earn by means of studying. Studying. These are further studies. HTH, uh, STHD, STHD or sometimes STD means uh, Doctor of Sacred Theology. Uh, mm -hmm. This is earned by going to university, taking up courses, defending a thesis, writing a, a dissertation. Mm -hmm. So ang ibang office po, meron, meron, meron mag, mga ganyan. Or sometimes, if my, my degree of um, the uh, scriptures, mm -hmm. SSC or SSL, or degree oh, in, in your law. in your case, canon law. Oh, kagaya ni Bishop Tobias has a degree in canon law, etc. Et mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Another question from uh, Gloria. Question: Hindi po ino observe ang seniority sa pagpipili ng bishop. Maraming tao nagtatanong nito na um, hindi pa sinusot yung edad sa pagpipili ng obispo. Mm -hmm. um, hindi po siya promotion when you become senior 
or when you have achieved a certain status or level. Um, as we said, Indeed, po, it's not like the PMP. Na yes. Class, class uh -oh. 80, class 79, yes, and susunod, uh -oh. class 80, hindi yeah. ganon. Wala o. Oh. So purely, this is uh, elected by the by the by, by the Pope by, by the Roman Pontiff. Mm -hmm. So, minsan mapapansin mo, uh, Bishop Rob is quite young, ha? 57. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yes. Bishop, pansin ko yung age mo, ha? Mm -hmm. uh, pero may, may ibang mga obispo na at the age of 49 or 47, naging obispo na. Mm -hmm. Meron mga iba at the age of 65. Limang mm -hmm. taon sa pangalan na lang, retired na. So, wal walang seniority in terms of choosing bishops. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, another oh. question, uh, Father. May power po ba ang Paris priest over seminary, even religious order? Example, nakaroon ng problem yung seminary sa seminary niya, kaya siya lumabas. May, may, may power ang Paris priest over the seminary? Wala. <laughs> ang kanyang care for souls is limited sa kanyang parokya, kinasakupan. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. So wala over, over religious order, what is the relationship if, if a religious order is under the territory of the parish? Uh, yan, hindi yan, ano, no? hindi yan uh, authority of subjugation. In fact, in fact I think uh, cooperation. Kasi yung mm -hmm. mga religious sa, sa parokya mo are, can be collaborators. They have a specific mm -hmm. ministry to do, and this, mm -hmm. these are not under you. They are under the diocesan bishop for supervision. Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. Another question, Father, what are the monsignors in the church? Is it a canonical, is an ecclesiastical office? Is it uh, uh, of divine institution? Is it of a human institution? What, what are they, monsignors? Uh -huh. Yung pong Monsignor is a title, hindi siya part ng order, ha? hindi siya, kasi there are, there are only three orders, yung diaconate, presbyterate, and, and, and episcopate. Yung pong Monsignor is a title given to certain priests, no? Mm -hmm. uh, ito po, this is honorary, honorary title ito. In, in times past, ang, ang title ng Monsignor can be attached to an office, ex officio. For instance, if, in, 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 in the 1917 code, if a priest is vicar general, he he automatically uh, uh, obtains the title mo, mon, Monsignor. Monsignor. Uh, oh, I uh, see. Uh, now, no more? No more, no more. In fact, the Pope is uh, avoiding granting these titles unless meron siyang nilagay na, 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 na qualifications. Na yung, unless you reach, this, you reach this age. Na walang mga batang Monsignor. Wala. Nung araw kasi, mm -hmm. pag naging... Uh, these, these are honorific titles eh, na binibigay sa mga pare. Sabi ko nga, uh, because of certain uh, positions in, 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 the, in the church or certain function that they do, for instance, no, yung dati pa nga, may mga iba't ibang ano, iba klase ng monsignor, may papal, papal uh, convoy, on, honorary prelate, at iba't iba may papal, may PA pa, so PC, PA, HP. These are different... Um, uh, qualific uh, qualific uh, quali kinds of uh, monsignori sa simbahan. Mm -hmm. But this is just on the fact, hindi siya part of the order. Mm -hmm. order. I see. Okay, so mga kaibigan, umabot po tayo ng oras. No? Ang bilis ng panahon. Oh. Um, next week, kailangan balikan po natin because we will talk how a person can lost. Oh. Uh, Oh, oh, kung, uh, or obtain. Ano ang, uh, obtain or loss, yes. How uh -oh. can uh, he obtain the ecclesiastical uh, office. Um, office or how can the person be removed from that ecclesiastical office? And what are the reasons and what, what, who, who is the, the one that uh, confer and removes uh, a person or transfers a person from ecclesiastical office. So next week, I tatapusin muna ang episode 8. Uh, bago mapu uh, 9 pala. 9. 9. Bago mapunta tayo sa next episode. At anong, anong pag-uusapan sa episode 10, Father? Ang episode 10, ating pag-uusapan yung konsepto ng how does canon law compute time? In concept mm -hmm. ng day, ng week, o ng month, mm -hmm. or ng year. Sorry, yung year. Mm -hmm. no? Day, month, year. Tapos mm -hmm. yung natin uh, prescription, yung mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, loss or uh, of, of the loss of certain rights and privileges or mm -hmm. uh, how one gains uh, certain rights and privileges in, in law. Pero pa rin siya, since may exit lang naman yun, parang siguro... We will Kaya natin. Tapusin yeah. ang 9 and, and then and yung 10. Oh. Kasi okay. may clean lang Wonderful. yun eh. Saka medyo may pagka-abstract ng konti yun. Kaya medyo Wonderful. interesting itong ating topic ngayon. Sa mga nanood at gustong balikan, you can go back to our all episodes on YouTube. All the from episode 1, you can go back to uh, Almusalita YouTube channel and then playlist and, and doon po organize under Canon Law. You have all the different episodes. Muli maraming salamat po, Father Jix. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father Shano. And, and salamat po sa lahat ng viewers and we'll see you again next week. God bless po. God bless. Ingat. Thank you. Bye-bye.